Good morning, I'm meteorologist Samantha Jacks, keeping an eye on the tropics as Hurricane Milton continues to make its way towards Florida, and this is going to be a powerful and intense storm. Overnight last night and into this morning, there were a lot of changes that happened to Milton, and one big thing was an eye wall reconstruction, and when we say that, that means that the eye of the hurricane itself kind of went away. But during the overnight hours, that eye wall came back, and now what we're seeing happen is the wind field of the hurricane itself is going going to start to expand. When we have that eye wall reconstruction, we typically see hurricane strength start to weaken and then quickly after that re-strengthen, become bigger and broader than ever. So within and throughout the day today, I am expecting this to go from what's now a cat four back to a cat five before making landfall somewhere between a category three and a category four hurricane overnight Wednesday and into Thursday morning. And that's actually one of my biggest concerns is that landfall itself is coming during those overnight hours. Now, another thing that we're paying attention to is the direction and the path of the storm itself. So this is going to be a direct impact. Think of a car accident. Typically, Florida, right, has kind of a side swipe of a hurricane. Not this time around. This is going to be almost like a T-bone directly into the western portion of Florida, which means that its impacts are going to be broader in extent. So we're talking from Tampa, stretching all the way down through, let's say, Naples, Florida, seeing storm surge impacts on the order of 12 feet or even higher. Up to 15 feet is expected from portions of Tampa down through Sarasota. So certainly that's going to bring some high impacts in terms of that storm surge itself. If we think back to Hurricane Helene, they only had storm surge 4 feet to 8 feet. If you think of 12 feet storm surge, that's like stacking 3 to 4 of me on top of myself, and that's the wall of water that's going to be rushing into homes and cars, almost lifting them up off their foundation. So Hurricane Milton, again, right now sits at a category four hurricane. When is it going to hit? That's going to be during the overnight hours on Wednesday and into Thursday morning. Direct impact, that means it's headed directly towards that western portion of Florida. It's going to bring flooding rains, of course, also that storm surge along with it, and a large and expansive wind field. We're talking hurricane winds stretching from western portions of Florida all the way to the eastern half stretching towards Daytona Beach. That's 110 mile per hour wind gusts on the west side, but still 70 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts on the east side of the state there. What all do you need to know? That family and friends need to heed those evacuation warnings. Make sure if you're being told to evacuate that you do so sooner rather than later. I'm meteorologist Samantha.